Hey everybody, so today I'm just going to be showing you how to install uh, Mac OS and this is a good way to do it. It's called a clean install and what it's going to do is if you have an issue, maybe you're in a boot loop situation or if you're not able to access your operating system at all and you just, or if you even have a virus, this is a good way just to clean up the whole entire operating system and just to reinstall it. Now, do take note, uh, this is a clean install, so what that means is we're going to be wiping it completely. Um, we're going to be showing you two different ways you can do it. Um, sometimes if you have an external CD or USB, you can do it through the option holding by holding the option key. We'll be showing you how to do that. And we'll also be showing you how to do it just easily through the internet recovery. And again, this is mainly for just erasing the whole entire thing. So if you have a virus, if you have any issues with, um, with your OS and you don't care about the data, and let's just get into it. Well, the first option I'm going to show you is by holding option you're going to get to the boot menu. What the boot menu is going to show you is if you have like a USB or if you also have a CD you can boot from this drive and then you can pick which Mac OS that you want to install. And from here if you're on one of the later operating systems you might have an encrypted drive that has a password and from this you would need to access this drive you would need to enter in your password because it's encrypted. Of the newer Mac OS's uh, do have this. Um, if you want to actually use the USB, what you want to do is you want to go up to something called Utilities. And you can see the Startup Utility. This is for the security settings, so you can actually remove actually having a password here. And so you can boot from other external devices as well. This is just a secure boot feature that um, the newer Mac OS's have. You can hit No Security if you want here. And you can also hit allow boot media. That's the, also what you want to do as well if you're booting from a USB. If you're booting from another way, you can skip this part. Or if you have an encryption, you want to do this part as well. So you can at least get by it. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to go to the internet recovery. You want to hold command and R when you turn it on. And we're going to be greeted by a menu here. And what you want to do is go to Disk Utility. And in Disk Utility, it's going to show you all the drives that are actually connected to your device. The internal drives and the external drives. Okay, so here's the two drives that we have here. One says Untitled, one says Untitled Data. This is the same hard drive. But what you want to do is to view the hard drive, you want to hit the view, and then you want to hit show all devices here. And you'll see this is the Apple SSD that's actually installed inside your, your machine. And it usually has two partitions. It has the main Mac partition, which the OS is on, and then it also has a data partition, which the data is on. Um, for this, because we're doing a clean install tutorial, uh, what we want to do is you want to click the highest drive there, and where it's going to be the Apple SSD, and then you want to hit uh, Format. And now we can type anything that we want to hear, whatever we want to name it. And for the scheme, we want to make sure we do APFS if you're doing the newer ones. And you could do Mac OS Journal if you're doing anything older. Um, APFS is the newer um, version of security encryption that they do have for the format of the drive. And you want to just do that if you have a later OS. Um, I believe you want to do that if you have Catalina or above. And then what you can do is you can rename it. Now you can format it. And once you format it, that means you completely wipe the drive. All data that's been on there has been lost, and it's an empty drive. Now we can install the Mac OS here. And in this case, we have a Big Sur. We have the OS here, and all you want to do here is just pick the right drive for you. There should be just one connected. If you have another external, you're not going to be downloading there. You're just going to be downloading on your main drive. And once you hit that, you're just going to install it. And just once it, it will eventually finish and then it's all done. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to do a clean install on the Mac OS. It's just a very straightforward, simple video. Um, it does really help a lot, especially if you don't have any data to back up and you just have like a virus you're not able to access your OS and maybe you're stuck in the boot loop. This is a good way to just bypass that and just a clean install and make sure that you wipe it and you get the, the freshest install that you do have on your Mac OS. It's a good way to do it. Um, of any problems or anything like that it's a good way to go through the internet recovery 
um, that's the best way to go through because if you go through that way you're actually going to install all the updates as well not just the base OS you're actually going to install updates that go to the OS as well so you don't have to just log in and then reinstall updates after that it will install all of it all at the same time and you'll just be ready to go with the latest version of uh, Mac OS that's um that's based on your MacBook's firmware. If you have an older one, you might be installing a later version of an OS, but it'll be the most up-to-date version that that could possibly go. But um, this way, uh, I just showed you how to do a Big Sur one, so I was making this video, Big Sur's latest OS, and you'll get the latest possible version of it with all the updates. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found this video very informative. Please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. We really do appreciate all the likes and subscribes you guys have been doing subscribe for more content as well because that really does help us a lot um, shows your support and everything like that we have all of our contact information located in the description below we do lots of macbooks uh, liquid spills screen replacements um, component level repair data recovery stuff like that check out our store too we actually did recently open up our store and the link will be in the description there as well check out we have a lots of mac parts we're going to be showing you more tutorials on how to do those parts how to install them as well coming up Hit that notification bell so you'll know right when we upload. So anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed and um, have a good one. Bye.